for Dempsey. The faces may change, but the tradition and Philly on both sides are as powerful here today as ever. Celtic Park awaits the first of this season's Old Firm meetings, and Celtic have the chance to take a firm control on affairs in Scotland, welcoming Juninho to the famous number seven. Well, O'Neill's side has a 100% record in the new season, maintained with a win at Inverness Caledonian Thistle. Still no Chris Sutton because of a hamstring strain, but Stanislav Varga did pass a fitness test this morning. Jackie McNamara returns as captain after injury. The Celtic stalwart now pressed into service at left back, but it's the number seven who creates most interest here. Juninho making his debut as a Celtic player. One change in personnel by Alec McLeish after Rangers' savage disappointment in failing to make the Champions League in midweek. Alex Ray returns in midfield. He sat out the game against CSKA Moscow because of suspension. He was released by Rangers at 16, now makes an old firm derby at the age of 34, and he's not alone. Boomsong, Mladenovic and Vinyal all experiencing this incredible atmosphere for the first time. Celtic get us underway then, and the big question for Rangers here. Bounced out of the Champions League in midweek, already two points down on Celtic in the new championship season here in Scotland. What have they got today to restore some belief? And it does look as though Rangers have deployed their forces in a rather cautious manner here away from home. The likes of Prusso and Arvaladze, as expected here, the word was out before kickoff that they would be starting in withdrawn roles. And basically, this man here, Nacho Novo, the uh, lone front runner, but Presso's got in here early on and it's a superb covering tackle by Didier Agat. He was alert to the danger, well worked by Rangers, even though Presso came from deep and he needed watching. Rangers starting slightly the better here. Petrov. Vignal stepped in, tied it up nicely. Lennon won the header ahead of Perso. Tackles flying in, in the great tradition. Henri Kamara got on it for Celtic. Nice little layoff by Hartson. Celtic finding their stride now, Kamara. And again, Vignal gets right across to cover, although Hugh Dallas may have seen some infringement here as Petrov went to ground. Alan Thompson over it, a player with a wonderful goal-scoring record in Old Firm games. Lots of Celtic bodies in there, Kloss may have got something on it for Rangers. Celtic beginning to turn the screw here. Excellent set piece, and it was a good clearing fist from the keeper. Boba Balde, Newcastle reportedly very interested in him. Martin O'Neill says he's going nowhere. Young keeper Davy Marshall took no chance with it. Alan Hutton with the throw for Rangers. They need the likes of him to get forward wide to support. It's a great cross, and Presso on this side was a threat. Well, some Rangers fans coming in here today weren't happy with McLeish for how he set his team out, but Presso, not for the first time here, gets forward well from a wide left position. Lennon. Thompson. Such an experience, triumvirate in that Celtic midfield. It dropped for Kamara. They hurried him into the shot. Found the space well enough. Mladenovic gave it the way he faced. Boom song. And Hutton. Dipped into it. Dallas saw it. Celtic free kick. First appearance of the season for Alan Hutton. Only his 13th in all as a Rangers player, incidentally, in the first team. Juninho. Looked to play the wall pass with Kamara, and he got it back for him. And then Kamara took it off his toe! And surely denied Juninho the chance of a sensational old firm start. Speed of thought and speed of foot here from Juninho. He's in, and then Kamara takes it off his toe. And O'Neill and Robertson cannot believe it on the Celtic bench. 
Celtic looking sharper now and it was given away by Mladenovic play on Hartson crowd getting right behind Celtic Hartson you seem to use an arm which he acknowledges in fairness he's such a strong man maybe not the quickest over the ground but a fearsome physical competitor and he just knocked Vignal aside McNamara covered but it dropped Rangers way Rickson took up a good position Arvaladze off the right and a goal threat from the right hand side from another of the withdrawn strikers in this Rangers lineup today Arvaladze never threatening but a sign of intent well, for a side short on confidence and rejigging tactically today Rangers can be well pleased with their efforts here so far not a great clearance by Kloss helped on by Juninho to Hartson Juninho came short those twinkling toes took four Rangers shirts to stop him and he's getting in the swing of it here and this feisty little Brazilian is not a man to stand aside in a physical argument against much bigger opponents as he's just demonstrated little bit of afters I think it was Alex Ray yes how McLeish needs a result today how this man has manufactured results and titles wherever he's gone three titles in four seasons for O'Neill as Celtic manager alone an incredible record for some Mladenovic Hutton joins in and he does get forward well this is solid build up from Rangers Ray well it would be his ultimate dream I think to score in an old firm game Hoping to have a late blossom to his career, Alex Ray. I got his well forward for Celtic. Prasso covered him off well. Vignal dwelt on it slightly. Celtic were hunting him down. No hard feelings here. And after all, Agat and Vignal did start their careers in French football together at Montpellier seems a world away from all this Balde rocks on it for Celtic no frills from Varga Hartson underneath it tangling with Craig Moore Ritson tried to help him out fell Celtic's way and Juninho so alert again closes off his line here and he was almost made to pay by the quick thinking of this brilliant Brazilian at 31 looking razor sharp here and immediately finding his feet in this cauldron no goal for Juninho in this first half but I think we can safely say he has stolen the show in his first appearance in a Celtic jersey Rangers probably the happier here at half time though they've changed their formation around and they have denied Celtic and given the home side some problems to solve it's Celtic nil, Rangers nil Rangers to get us started in this second half nil nil at Celtic Park where else would you be? launched by Boomsong aimed at Prusso O'Neill with food for thought perhaps for Celtic at the break the onus very much on them and with a change here by Rangers now to address Peter Lovenkrantz on early in the second half in place of shot at Avaladze chances so far in short supply on both sides and that's surely to the credit of Rangers here but have they got what it takes to go out and win a game here? A bit short of bodies getting forward, it was a fine run. Lovenkrantz might pick up the pieces here. Half chance, well smothered. And then smashed out second time by Lovenkrantz. Well, his pace made something of a difference at least. A 
and Celtic for a moment looked slightly ill at ease. Nacho Novo needed to get it out from under his feet quicker than that, though. In by Lennon for Celtic. Boomsong claimed it, not really cleared. McNamara well forward. Turned behind by Vignal. And even though Rangers started the second half the better, now Celtic are beginning to put Boomsong and his fellow Rangers defenders under a little bit more scrutiny. Alan Thompson with the set piece. Look how strong and big Balde looks even against Boomsong. Hudson! They left him. And they might have been made to pay for that. How does he wriggle free here? He shouldn't be allowed this sort of room. Celtic always so dangerous at set pieces. Aimed at Hartson again. Novelkantz was just out crowded. Here's Celtic's new boy, Wallace. Welcome to the old firm, Max, son. Tricky player on for Henri Kamara, as our caption showed you. Balde again forward for this free kick, and it's he on the receiving end. And Hartson was looking for it on the other post too. They are just so difficult to deal with. A powerhouse, Balde. No wonder Newcastle are eyeing him up. Wasn't that far away. But not the breakthrough Celtic need. Silla provides the fresh legs up front for the hard-working John Hartson. Here's Lennon. Celtic need to pick this up, you feel, late on. Almost reached Silla. The crowd are growing restive here, the vast majority in this 60,000, of course, green and white, just a small pocket of about 7,000 Rangers fans. I get, and they're looking to Celtic to stage a grandstand finish here. It's a gat again. Vignal couldn't stop the cross coming in. Out as far as Alan Thompson. Might try one here. Oh, yes, he has tried one! And has he won the Old Firm Derby for Celtic with a wonder goal? Needed something special today, and these fans believe that Alan Thompson has obliged. You cannot hear yourself thinking here. What a record this man has got against Rangers. It's his seventh goal in Old Burn games. I don't think there's been one better than that. This is how Kloss may have seen it coming at him like a tracer bullet, and it moves in the air, and the German keeper normally so reliable, can't even get a fist to it. What a goal! And it may break Rangers' hearts here. Rangers try to contain. Now they've got to rescue. And they might do it here. Nobody on the end of it when it came fizzing across the goal from Alex Ray. Celtic have more work to do. Rangers have got lots of bodies forward now. And they have a corner. And it might have been worse for Celtic. Fine repost from Ray. Positive from Rangers. Their fans may feel they haven't been positive enough. There was nothing wrong with that. Rickson with the corner. Stephen Thompson is charged into the area as the last Rangers substitute. As Juninho makes way. He's had a wonderful debut as a Celtic player, but they need a defender out there now. And Valhallen has been sent on to try to shore it up for Celtic and protect the lead. Rickson's corner then, not a good fist by Marshall. Everybody back for Celtic, might still come for Rangers. And again, pinball in there, but that's not good enough for Rangers. It needed somebody to provide it clinical touch instead of trying to batter the door down Rangers come again Alex Ray 
It's been all Rangers since Celtic scored here. In by Novo. Lennon was defending very deep. Here's the goal scorer, Thompson. Is he going to prove the match winner too? Wallace just knocks it forward. It's one for Silla to chase. He's such a good athlete. Boom Song sends close back. Oh, wonderful coolness. The referee has added on three minutes. We're into injury time, and there are three added minutes here. Certainly enough time for Rangers to save it. For so. Went the direct route. Well, it would have been a wonder goal to match Thompson's. And he would have made himself an instant Rangers hero with that. Alec McLeish has had a rough, tough, hard week as Rangers boss. They begin to see that it's drifting away from them, the Rangers support. David Murray, the former chairman, is scheduled to return to Rangers next week. And it looks very much now as though it will be to right the ship for Rangers after a week when nearly everything has gone wrong. Celtic fans are celebrating, but O'Neill knows better. There's still more to do here. Thompson with a moment of inspiration as at last Celtic find a way past close today again it's Lennon back at the heart of the defence helping out Celtic look rather jittery for a side who are the reigning champions and who lead in an old firm game it's all Rangers here at the finish Varga put his foot through it Young Marshall in goal tries to push his Celtic defenders out. Hugh Dallas looks at the watch. Rangers will get one more chance to restart the game. Chances have been in short supply, but effort has been unstinting. Balde clears, helped by Valhaden. The whistle has gone. And Hugh Dallas, I think, has called a halt here. The whistle has indeed gone, and it is a record. Seventh straight win for Celtic. Thanks to Alan Thompson's wonder goal, not even Jock Steen in his pomp can match the record of O'Neill's era as Celtic manager. Not so long ago, you know, they couldn't find a way to beat Rangers, and now they don't know how to lose to them.